right, so I've got a bunch of pictures I want to rename, and uh, one of my favorite apps on Windows to do so is called Ant Renamer. Um, you can just Google it. So you can find it at antp.be. Download there. Um, only on Windows, unfortunately, but there's apps for every OS, so this is just kind of the quick favorite one. So I've um, got a uh, folder I want to rename of a bunch of pictures I took on a vacation. Um, so basically what I like to do is uh, show both windows and then you know you could take a whole folder or you can select pictures individually. So these are all from the Philippines. So I can select all these and I drag them in and it'll prompt you to see if you want to add all the subfolders if that's the case if there are uh, multiple pictures uh, folder pictures and I'll ignore that alright so it lists it and just for this rename I'm going to keep some of the num numbers as part of the file name uh, but I want to put you know Philippines in front of it instead of the regular photo uh, automatic rename. So I go to actions and what I'll do for this one is a string insertion. So um, actually instead of a string insertion which would just add on to the front of it, and by the way uh, this is uh, the type of rename you can do and you can do multiple um, I guess sequences of renaming. Uh, whenever you're ready with the change you want to make um, you can hit go. So down here at the bottom it kinda shows you what to expect. And it takes the first file name and the, and the number of files that you had and shows you what it would look like. So um, you know I decided instead of a uh, insertion I'm gonna do a replacement. So a string you know it's just like a certain number of characters and um, down here it's showing me the current name so it looks like just based on the number of files, um, you know, the P103 is for all of them. So I could actually search for P103 and then replace it with here, replace it with uh, Philippines underscore. So this is um, what I'm going to end up with in the end. So when I'm ready, I'm going to hit go, and you'll see the name change over here. So these are all renamed. Um, one thing I don't like is the capitalized JPEG. Um, I think at some point that would probably, if I ever uploaded it, could screw me up. So I'm going to rename um, just with a, 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 a change in the case sensitivity there. Or I'm sorry, a change in case. So, let's see, let's do uh, a string replacement again, and then keep, let's see, let's do .gpg, .gpg, apply to extension instead of the name, actually, there we go. So search for the large .jpg, replace with the small .jpg. I definitely need to remove that extra period. See, this is a really good guide down here. It'll tell you I accidentally typed a period there when it doesn't need it. So, I'm going to hit go. And it looks like it didn't take. Why didn't it take? Case sensitive, apply to extension. That oh, doesn't like that. I don't know why. Why doesn't it like that? Let's hit refresh. Oh, no, it did take it. You know what? I had to hit refresh on the... I just hit F5 on the folder there. So it did take it. You just couldn't see it right away. So these are all renamed, and they work uh, a lot better. And if I ever needed to search, you know, for my photos on my computer, uh, actually having a, a, a real name I would search by is much better than just searching by numbers or the JPEG extension. That'd be ridiculous. So that's Ant Renamer. Uh, again, a favorite on Windows. If I get time, I'll show you some other favorites I have on Mac and Linux. Peace out.